Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showcasing Ribambi from the Temporal Forces expansion set. But of course, we'll be using a lot of cards that came out until Twilight Masquerade. And I haven't really seen any great showcase of this Pokemon yet, so I thought I would take on the challenge. You see, Ribambi has this unique attack called Plentiful Pollen. For a single colorless energy, it deals 30 damage. And this attack also puts an effect on the defending Pokemon, whereby when you knock it out on your next turn, you can take two more prizes. It seems awesome, right? But it's not that simple because your opponent's Pokemon that you just targeted or attacked, that is the defending Pokemon, must remain in the active spot for the duration of your opponent's turn. If they retreat that Pokemon, the effect will be nullified. It won't work anymore. Even if you gust up that Pokemon back into the active spot, the effect of the attack is gone. So really keeping your opponent's Pokemon from leaving the active spot will be the most challenging thing you need to accomplish for this to work. And aside from the damage, you are considering that this extra text is an effect of an attack. So if your opponent can defend against effects of attacks, this will not work. And one other challenge for this to work is that you have to find a Pokemon that can guarantee you a knockout on the defending Pokemon. That one though is a little bit more flexible because there are a few good options. For this build, however, I'll be using this King Gambit. It has the attack Strike Down. For one metal energy, if your opponent's active Pokemon has four or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is instantly knocked out. So really, all we have to do is figure out how we can deal that 4 damage counter on our opponent's Pokemon. But since we have to attack in perfect sequence anyways, why not start with Rebombi? Its attack deals 30 damage. But if we attach Vitality Band on Rebombi, we can increase its attack by 10 more damage so that it will be dealing 40 damage, perfectly setting up your opponent's Pokemon for King Gambit's instant knockout. And I also have the Vengeful Punch tool card. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, put 4 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. And you can just use Arvin or the Town Store Stadium so that you can search for these tool cards from your deck. And since Rebombi's basic stage, Q to Fly, only has 30 HP, increasing its survivability is essential. Which is why I also have the Bravery Charm tool card so that we can add 50 HP to any one of our basic Pokemon. As for my Ace Pack card, I'm using Legacy Energy. It counts as 1 energy of every type, and once per game, if the Pokemon this is attached to is knocked out from damage from an attack, your opponent will take one less prize card. I found this to be very useful in this build, technically forcing your opponent to a 7 prize game. Especially that late game sacrifice when you use Rebombi so that you can get 2 more prize cards in your next turn. Even if your opponent knocks out Rebombi with Legacy Energy, they're not gonna take any prizes. Giving you a chance for another turn so that you can use Strike Down, knock out your opponent's active Pokemon, which could ultimately win you the game. And finally, since we're already using a lot of effects of attacks to knock out our opponent's Pokemon, as a late game surprise attack, just a regular attack, I also added one copy of Technical Machine Crisis Punch. If your opponent has one prize card remaining, you can use Crisis Punch attack. For three colorless energy, it deals 280 damage, enough to knock out most Pokemon V-Star or even a weakened stage two EX Pokemon. As long as you attach this to one of your evolution Pokemon, you can easily power it up using reversal energy as long as you're behind on prizes and you might just be able to take out one of your opponent's Pokemon by surprise. And since this deck is so tight already, I could only really use two copies of Cleffa as my main draw support. And guys, this build is just for a fun challenge. Really making this Rebombi work is extremely difficult but it's definitely worth trying out. Let me know in the comments below what combos you think would work with Ribambi. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You can find the complete decklist in the description below. And now please enjoy the following gameplay videos showcasing Ribambi with King Gambit. Before we get into the video, I have a small request. If you're liking the content I create, please leave a like to this video and please support this channel by subscribing if you haven't already. This is a small click for you, but for me, it means a lot. Thank you so much for all of your support. All right, on to our first match. My opponent won the coin flip. They decided to go first. Yeah, we're gonna start with a couple of potty yards to start this one. But our hand is looking horrible. My opponent will start with a Shrudel in the active spot. I have not seen this Pokemon in a hot minute. Could this be the one that uses a lot of different energy typing to attack for a lot of damage? I don't know. We got our Cleffa from our draw, but no way for us to retreat our potty yard, so we have Really don't have a lot of choice but to pass. 
Gonna put another Fighting Energy to their Shrudel, Iono. And that actually helps us out, which is, I'm not complaining. We got Cutie Fly and a Buddy Buddy Poffin, which is good. And with the Ultra Ball, my opponent will get Grafi... 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 E-I-E-I-O... <laughs> Grafi... E-X, I believe it's pronounced. And they're just gonna attack for 30. I think they have a chance to paralyze, but didn't work. Either way, it's fine. We got Buddy Buddy Poffin. I'll get Ponyard and another Q to fly. Um, got B Sharp. I could evolve. Or just sacrifice it to use Ultra Ball. Let me retreat to Cleffa first. And I think I'm just gonna discard those two. So I can use Ultra Ball. Get a King Gambit. Use Rare Candy to evolve this guy. Then we can draw a full seven cards with our gra Grasping Draw. So Grafii EX, despite its cape, as long as we can deal four damage counters to it, uh, we can instantly knock it out. And they're gonna e Iono once again. So its second attack deals 180 and then poisons are active. Pokemon. So 350, not bad. We finally got a Benchful Punch. I could possibly use or evolve into Rubombi this turn, actually. Put Benchful Punch. We have the basic energy to attack. And then I can evolve into another King Gambit. All right. Plentiful Pollen deals 30 damage to our opponent's Gra Grafii EX. Not enough for us to knock out with King Gambit, but we also need another energy, so that's the downside. This is really bad. Uh, I didn't account for that. I need an energy to attack with King Gambit, but we have that potential to get a knockout against Grafii. And get four prizes for knocking it out, right? Because it's it. Once we knock it out, we get two prizes plus an extra two prizes. But that is, of course, if my opponent does not retreat. They're going to boss my Ponyard, and I think they're using poison here. Increase poison damage. Ah, they're gonna retreat. To Glimora! No! Glimora EX has this ability where it forces its opponent to only have three Pokemon on their bench at all times while it's in the active. So, oh, this is really bad. Uh, okay, my opponent gets a knockout, and all of our hard work, all that setup was all for naught, but we got Legacy Energy! You know what? Let's go ahead and use Plentiful uh, Pollen here deal 30 and that puts them on a difficult situation here because uh, if they attack with Grafii they're not knocking out Rebombi we're just going to continue that cycle so most likely they're just going to use Glimora EX to get a knockout here I mean uh, the probability of that happening uh, my opponent decides to do that is pretty high so yeah, there it is. My opponent knocks out Ribombi. They receive four damage counter from Benchful Punch tool card. And now we can use King Gambit. Thankfully, we got the legacy energy from that top deck last turn. So now we can use Strike Down. Instantly knock out this Glimora. And that's going to get us four prizes. <laughs> that is insane. If it works, and it can. Rebombi is pretty awesome with King Gambit, guys. You just gotta believe. You're not gonna win every matchup, okay? You're not gonna win, but I I was pleasantly surprised that I was able to make this work to some degree, right? I've been testing a lot with this deck. Uh, at first, I actually tested with, um, was that, Spidops to prevent my opponent from retreating. Uh, it, it's doable. That combo is actually pretty doable, but but this one has 
a higher percentage rate of actually getting the combo. Because uh, Spide Ops doesn't deal one-hit knockouts. So now that we're down to two prizes remaining, my opponent does not have enough energy to energize their Glimora, which is awesome for us, which means we can survive a few more turns. Get another Ponyard set up, and we gotta start recovering these guys. So with Super Rod, um, let's see what we need here. Energy, we need a lot of energy actually. So I'm just gonna get those and there's really not much we could do. I'm just gonna end my turn. I re, King Gambit has four retreat costs, so it's really, really difficult to retreat it. However, our legacy energy is still in effect. Even if my opponent knocks it out, they're not taking their prizes. So we can stall for a few more turns and this Glimora EX is not dealing a one hit knockout on King Gambit. So we could possibly store for two more turns we also get poisoned okay we got the basic energy at least i'll put it on ponyard and i'm just gonna have my turn it's gonna come down to this guys where if once my opponent knocks out king gambit i'm going to use cleffa to draw in my next turn my opponents uh their prizes will remain at three right so here it is they're they're gonna take a knockout Legacy energy once per game. It took effect. My opponent does not get any prize. And we got Town Store. All right. Might as well just grab this to get Vengeful Punch. And that will put whatever Pokemon they attack with in a position where it's going to be knocked out by King Gambit. As long as my opponent does not have a boss orders to boss my Ponyard, I think we're safe. But if they do, we have Buddy Buddy Poffin. They'll need to take two more prizes, two more turns to win this game. So I think I think we're still in this game, guys. The disruption of my opponent's uh, Glamora EX is definitely... Uh, it, it's very disruptive, right? But they're going to attack. They receive four damage counters. We have Arvin. But we need two things to make this successful. We need a rare candy. And... A Scolipede. Or not a Scolipede. Oh my gosh. A King Gambit. We need a King Gambit to evolve. But we need two things. We need Rare Candy and a King Gambit to evolve. So that we can attack. For now, I'm going to use Town Store. Uh, see what we can do here. Get a Vengeful Punch. You know what? Here. We do have TM Crisis Punch, guys. Glimora is within knockout range, and what I'm going to do is just whip my attack because they have a defensive tool card, and unbeknownst to them, we have Crisis Punch, and all of their Pokemon, I think, is within knockout range. We can deal, well, Grafaii has a lot of HP. I'm pretty sure they're just going to use Glimora to attack here and hope that we're not going to be able to attack since all of our Pokemon on the bench is weak. So if they assume... And I'm counting on it. If they assume that they can survive, even after attacking with Glamora EX, they are so wrong. Because we're going to knock it out. Oh, they're going to retreat. No, they're going to retreat. Okay. So Grafaii... Well, you know what? That Vengeful Punch will take effect, right? It deals four damage counters. That's 70. 7... 320... Dude, that actually puts Grafaii with his knockout range. Exactly 280 HP. That is insane. <laughs> that is actually really insane. I think that's it. I think we win this. Yo, let's go. We got an Ultra Ball from our top, top deck. Even better. So let's go ahead and discard these. Get our Rebombi. And with Arvin or even Town Store, either way... We're just gonna grab our technical machine, Crisis Punch, attach it to Ribambi, and Crisis Punch, 280 damage. <laughs> Winning us the game. Wow, that was a pretty epic match, guys. Good game.
All right, moving on to our next match. My opponent won the coin flip. They are letting me go first. And we're going to start with this one with a Ponyard in the active spot. We got... He's in heavy ball. Let's see what we can get. All right, we don't have any basic Pokemon. All we could do is attach the Vengeful Punch, tool card, and an energy. Hopefully, my opponent doesn't get a donk here because my opponent has the potential to attack on their first turn going second. But they have Bounce Sweets, they have Monkey Dory, and a bunch of Snow Runs. So this is a Frost Lass combo with Serena EX, I'm guessing. And we <laughs> still didn't get anything. Oh man, this is really bad. Uh, I guess I could scra scratch Monkey Dory. For 20. We're hitting for weakness. But then again, they could just attach a dark energy and then they can transfer those damage counters to our Ponyard. And yeah, I don't know. This is a really bad start for us. Yes, okay. My opponent saves us by using Iono. Really, really good. And we got Buddy Buddy Poffin. Awesome. Now we are running thankfully even though my opponent evolves to their frost last it's only affecting their monkey dory so a lot of our pokemon doesn't have abilities so we are looking good actually um let's go ahead and use town store to get a bravery charm put relor in play i could prevent them from Using the effective attack of their Serena. But for now, I'm just gonna retreat to Cleffa. That way, we can draw extra cards. I'll attach to Ponyard and Grasping Draw. Alright, so we got a Rebombi, which is good. I could take a knockout with Rebombi, actually. But. That would not be a good... We're, we're not going to be in a good position to do that. Because uh, if we can take multiple prizes, if we knock out their Pokemon, that would be better. Right? So with that, my opponent will be able to evolve into a Serena EX. So Serena EX has an attack for just one Grass Energy. It can lower one of their opponent's Pokemon's HP down to just 30. And I can see the combination here with a bunch of Frost Lass and even Monkey Dory. Monkey Dory can just transfer three damage counter from one of their Pokemon to ours. And that, they, that can knock out uh, whatever Pokemon they've reduced our, the HP down to. So with Town Store, what I'm going to do here, guys, is actually just use Rebombi with Vitality Band. And we'll be able to attack for 40. And that should set up this Serena EX for a knockout. We have Rare Candy, we have King Gambit, we have the Energy, and we have zero retreat cost, so we can easily retreat and knock out their Serena for extra prizes. But thanks to Frost Last, that actually knocked out their Monkey Dory, getting us our first prize. So it's definitely a double-edged sword, and they need to find that Dark Energy for Monkey Dory to transfer those damage counter. Speaking of which, they're going to use uh, Earthen Vessel, but they're just going to attach a Grass Energy. Instead of attaching to Monkey Dory, they attach to Serena EX. Okay, and Panic Mask. Dude, that's a very powerful card. 180 attack, and they heal? What is this? I did not account for that. Oh man, this is gonna be a very difficult matchup after all. So with Monkey Dory transferring those damage counters and the healing aspect to Serena EX's second attack, how are we gonna deal an instant knockout against Serena EX? I'll have to reevaluate the situation, guys. Use Arvin. Get another Vengeful Punch and a Buddy Buddy Poffin. 
set up cutie fly and another Ponyard. Evolve into King Gambit and put a Vengeful Punch to Cleffa. I'm just gonna spread these guys or these two cards to my Pokemon. That way, whichever one they decide to gust up, if they have boss orders, they're, they're gonna receive damage. So I don't know how exactly this is gonna work, but we'll see. Um, and I, I'm just taking a chance here, guys. I don't know. Let me know if this is legit, but I have a feeling... Oh, man. They're going to transfer damage counter to knock out Arellor. Uh So, Trap Kick. What is the sequence to that, guys? They heal first, then take damage, or take damage, then heal? No, they they heal first, then they take damage from Vengeful Punch. All right, that is actually good to know. Okay, I I, I don't I didn't know the sequence, the sequencing for that yet. So actually, we can take a knockout against their Serena EX this time. <laughs> wow, that was actually a really this is a really difficult situation here. But let's see, let me uh, discard those two so I can. I use my Ultra Ball here to get another Rebombi. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to successfully use Rebombi because if they're healing or transferring damage with their Monkey Dory, I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna set up another Ponyard with Buddy Buddy Poffin and then we're gonna use I mean, we're hitting for weakness, right? We're dealing 280 anyways. We could, either way, we could knock out their Serena EX. That's a lot of damage. Knocking out their Serena EX, getting us our first two prizes, okay. So King Gambit, being a metal type, we're hitting for weakness against Serena EX, which is pretty good. As long as uh, their HP is reduced down to at least 40, we're hearing, uh, hitting for that 280 mark to knock out a Serena EX. So, uh, as long as we can get that 4 damage on this Arena EX, we should be fine. The Panic Mask is not going to affect us that much if we use the Strike Down effect, right? So, it's not considered as an attack. So, Panic Mask only works against attack, not effects of attack. So, we can still deal an instant knockout against Arena EX. And they're going to switch into Frostlass. Okay. Well, their Monkey Dory is actually going to get knocked out at the end of our turn, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, at this point, what I could do is get Switch with Arvin. Switch into Aribombi, energize it, and then I could actually knock out, try and knock out this Frostlass to get our last three prizes, right? So that will activate the extra price thing, but we're only dealing 30 damage, so we can't really instantly knock it out with King Gambit. There goes their Monkey Dory, getting us one more prize. And as far as sequencing goes, even if they put an energy to their Frostlass to retreat, they don't have an energy for their Serena EX, so they're just going to pass. They don't have an energy. You know what, guys? I'm just going to continue to use Plentiful Pollen. And we have boss orders, even if they retreat. Well, if we use boss orders, that effect will be gone. But still, uh, we are putting a lot of pressure to my opponent. And they're just going to pass. You know what, guys? Since Rebombi's attack is still in effect to knock out this Frostlass, we can actually take an extra prize. And there you have it, guys. Good game. All right, on to our next match. We're gonna start this one with a Ponyard in the active spot. My opponent will be going first in this matchup. And we have a bunch of cards to help us get more basic Pokemon, but no other way to draw. So this is actually a really bad opening hand. My opponent has Manaphy, Bidoof, and Klefki. But I'm still not sure what we're going up against here exactly. Let's go ahead and use Buddy Buddy Poffin, get Cutie Fly and Klefka. I can retreat my Ponyard. And since it's our first turn going second, we can use Cleffa to draw extra cards. We'll use Artisan to get another Ponyard. Might as well use Arvin because we can. Grab Vengeful Punch to attach to Cleffa. 
And we already have rare candy, so I'll get Ultra Ball. So if my opponent manages to attack during their turn, the Vengeful Punch will damage them, and then we can finish them off with our King Gambit. So with Artisan, my opponent brings out an Abra and attaches Neo Upper Energy. So that special energy counts as two energies of every type as long as it's attached to a Stage 2 Pokemon. I doubt they're going to be using that to power up uh, that one single price Alakazam that can spread or move damage counters around. So I'm assuming this is the EX one. Um... My question though is, will the Vengeful Punch affect Alakazam if it attacks from the bench? We'll find out. We'll find out. For now, I'm going to use Ultra Ball, discard these two. I think our setup is pretty good right now. Get a Rubombi. We can attach an energy. Start attacking this turn. I'm pretty sure they're going to probably retreat their mana fee. So I think I'll... Just uh, draw extra cards with Kalepa this turn. I'll get another Vengeful Punch. And then I'll just get another Pontiard. That's fine. Grasping draw for three. And Giacomo. Hey, Giacomo could actually be useful. I can uh, discard their Neo Opera Energy. And that could stall for a little bit. Because they'll have to re-energize their attacking Pokemon. And we could set up even further during that time. Maybe even attack with Rebombi before my opponent continues to attack. They did retreat their mana fee to Mimikyu. And that's a good thing. Good thing we didn't uh, attack with Rebombi last turn. Because they would have just negated the effect of the attack. And with now with Alakazam EX able to attack, they... Knock out our Cleffa, and they did receive the damage from Vengeful Punch. All right. So it's not just affecting the active attacker. It's any attacker from anywhere on the board. So we're just going to use Giacomo to get rid of the the Neo Upper Energy. And I'll just grab another Cleffa, just in case we need to draw extra cards. Evolve into King Gambit. And I'm just going to use Plentiful Pollen on this Mimikyu. Unfortunately... We're only dealing 30 damage. But a good thing is, my opponent cannot attack without that Neo Upper Energy. They could evolve into another Alakazam EX. They just need to attach one more Psychic Energy. And then they can knock out our Bombi. And then we're getting nothing in return because we're dealing... We only dealt 30 damage. We can't knock out Mimikyu just yet. Um... I mean, if we had Reversal Energy, we could use King Gambit to attack and knock out Mimikyu. Because uh, Mimikyu's ability only affects EX or V Pokemon, so we could still attack and knock it out. But they're just going to pass. All right. They evolve into Al uh, their Kadabra. Not into Alakazam, so we survive another turn. I could just attack with Ribambi again, I guess. So despite my opponent, even if my opponent knocks out Ribambi. That still sets up Mimikyu for knockout next turn, unless they uh, retreat, retreat it. Otherwise, we'll be getting three prizes instead of one if we knock it out. So let's see what my opponent does. They finally get another Alakazam EX with Ultra Ball. There it is. They can knock out Ribambi. And if they do, uh, that Vengeful Punch will take effect and we can just gust it up in the active and... Knock out their Alakazam. Easy. And there it is. The Mantral Hand deals 120 to knock out our Ribambi. And we're okay with that. We're going to put King Gambit in the active spot. And we got Reversal Energy. Again, we can just use any of these attacks and still knock out Mimikyu. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Super Rod to recover the Ribambi lineup with energy. And then we'll set up another Cutie Fly. We have enough Ponyards on our board, so we should be fine. And we're just going to use Strike Down, knock out their Mimikyu. Instant knockout for three prizes. Here we go. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. So now my opponent has to watch out. 
what Pokemon they put in the active spot. Thankfully though, King Gambit has 180 HP, so even if my opponent decides to keep attacking with Alakazam EX on their bench, there, it will take at least two turns before they can knock out uh, King Gambit. But uh, the other option, they can attack for a lot of damage with that first attack with Alakazam, but it requires that they put Alakazam in the active spot and that puts them in an awkward position because we can just instantly knock it out with a King Gambit. So they're gonna Yono, that leaves us down to three cards in our hand, but that actually still gave us King Gambit and Arvin can just grab a rare candy. But the problem here is that we don't have energy. So my opponent attaches a double turbo energy to their other Alakazam that does reduce their damage by 20. So we can consider that, but most likely what we're gonna have to do is uh, just continue to draw cards with Cleffa. My opponent attacks with Dimensional Hand. I could use Arvin to just get a switch. This is our last one. And I guess I could get Vitality Band. Oh, it just attaches to this cutie fly. Switch Cleffa, and then we're just going to Grasping Draw. All right, so we got the energy. Thankfully, we got the energy. Because at this point, uh, since we are actually ahead in the price trade, our reversal energy is no longer taking into effect. So we'll have to use our basic metal energies to attack, at least with the King Gambit. And at this point, I think we can stall a little bit. They're going to use Counter Catcher to put our King Gambit back into the active spot. And they're going to judge. All right. Both players shuffles their hand to their deck, draw four, and that puts us back to a good a good position. Uh, we just need an energy. All right, they're gonna knock out my King Gambit, finally, uh, that puts us even. Uh, I'll put Cleffa in the active, because we can easily retreat that. Buddy Buddy Poffin. So we should have more energies in the deck. Yeah, well, we have no choice but to draw more cards with Cleffa. I'll just whiff this uh, Buddy Buddy Poffin for now. Use Arvin to get Rare Candy and Vengeful Punch. Evolve into King Gambit to lessen my hand. Uh, I'll attach it to Cleffa, that's fine. And then... I'll keep my Super Rod before doing anything else, and we're just gonna draw. We got our Legacy Energy back in our hand that could help us to stall another turn, because if my opponent knocks out one of our Pokemon with this, with it on, they're not taking any prizes, so we could still, we could even use it on Ribombi to deal that initial damage. My opponent does not get any prize, and then finish off their Pokemon with King Gambit. So all we need to do is uh, actually knock out one of their single prize with the effect of Ribombi's attack to win this game. So we're still in this game for sure. But my opponent's uh, prizes is down to two. This is really close. We need to start attacking here, guys. Um, I'll put an energy. Hope for the best with this Iono. Can we get Ribombi? Come on. Oh, we did not. We whiffed that one. Use Artisan here. Get another Ponyard in play. And... Yeah, this is not looking good. Um, we just use Mini Drain. 20. 20 damage with the Vitality Band. Let's see what we can do here. Uh... I mean, I could use TM Crisis Punch, but it's only getting us two prizes. And my opponent is continually knocking out my Pokemon. Uh, we got a basic Metal Energy. We can take a knockout against Alakazam EX. Thankfully, we have Counter Catcher. 
And what we can do is deal an instant knockout. And I'm hoping that my opponent does not, since the other Alakazam EX does not have psychic energies, all they can do is use its first attack. We got two Pokemon. This attack, 30 more damage for each Pokemon benched. Okay. So... It depends on how many bench Pokemon are in play. So, since we have limited amounts, we might be able to survive since uh, that double turbo energy is also reducing their attack. Uh, regardless, even if they are able to attack from the bench, we're surviving an attack. So, they have no choice but to use Mind, mind Jack. Right? Psychic energy. Can they get a knockout here? Can they get a knockout? 160 damage! And that's it! We will win this with Strike Down. <laughs> that's it! They couldn't knock out our King Gambit, and now we just win the game. Awesome, awesome game. All right, moving on to our last match. This time we'll be going first. We have Cleffa in the active and a Ponyard on our bench. We have Rare Candy, King Gambit to evolve, and an energy. We can attach a Vengeful Punch tool card on Cleffa, and we can draw extra cards on our next turn. Dude, we're going against Dragapult EX. Okay, one of the worst matchups. I do lose a lot to Dragapult EX, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm just gonna do my best, see if I can uh, get a win here. Let's see what happens. So my opponent will start with Entei V in their active spots. We attached a Psychic Energy to one of their Dreepy. They can draw one card with Entei-V's ability. And that Bravery Charm... Well, it's not gonna help that much since uh, we're, we're just gonna instantly knock it out. As long as we get that 4 damage counters on this Entei. We're just gonna Grasping Draw. Got another Pontiard. Thankfully, our Ponyards have 70 HP, so if they attack with their Dragapult EX, we will survive an attack. But of course, the more they attack, the more damage they spread, the more we die, right? <laughs> Especially if they take multiple prizes. So they finally evolve into a Dragapult EX and a Drac Cloak. They can use that ability to look at the top two cards of their deck, put one on the bottom, and draw one. They need a fire energy to attack and they need to retreat NTV. Since it has three retreat costs, it's going to be very difficult. So they're just going to end their turn. We can attach Vengeful Punch on King Gambit. I can discard these two. Uh, let me get rid of Roxanne because we don't really need that early on in this game. Uh, or you know what? Ralor is good. Relor is good, yeah. We're just gonna get that. Grasping Draw. Because uh, once we evolve into Rabska, we can prevent the damage counter spread. Hopefully, they don't get to attack this turn. Because if they do, they're just gonna knock out my Relor, and we're gonna. We're just gonna slowly die. I don't know if we can pull off a Ribombi combo in this uh, matchup. I really don't know if we can. I'm just gonna try and win as much as I can. Cause Rebombi, uh, Cutie Fly only has 30 HP. If we put two, they'll get two prizes instantly. So with that, my opponent gets to attack with Dragapult EX now with the Fire Energy attached to it. And they'll take two knockouts. This is crazy. Uh, this is one of the, the most difficult matchups. I don't even know if this is a winnable Winnable uh, matchup, but at least that Vengeful Punch did incur or put four damage counters to Dragapult EX. We can instantly knock it out, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just go from there. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna spread as much Pokemon as I can on the bench because if they can't set up a lot of Dragapult EX. We could just keep knocking them out and get two prizes each time. So I'm just going to use Strike Down with that four initial damage to Dragapult. Uh, we can knock it out. We get two prizes for that. And now, even if they evolve into a Dragapult EX, 
uh, they're gonna receive four damage counters with the Vengeful Punch. And we have Ultra Ball, we have two Ponyards. We can evolve into another King Gambit and take another knockout against Dragapult EX. So, at least we have that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Because at this point, my opponent can take three prizes. They're dealing 200 damage. Dracloak is fully energized, and there's the Dragapult EX. They can deal 200 damage, knock out our King Gambit, knock out my Cutie Fly and Cleffa. That will get them three prizes. But no, they're gonna go for Pontiard. They're gonna go for Ponyard, yo! That's crazy. I don't know. If that was me, I would have gone for Cutie Fly and Cleffa. Get three prizes. But regardless, we got another Ponyard. Thankfully, we were able to set up another one. And yeah, we're just gonna continue with this. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna continue with this. I'm gonna use Ultra Ball and let me get King Gambit. That's our last one. We're going to use Rare Candy, evolve this, put an energy, and we're just going to knock it out with a Strike Down. Instant knockout against Dragapult EX, getting us two more prizes. Hey, this is not half bad. Not half bad. We got another King Gambit, which is really good. And our Rabska was prized this whole time. <laughs> we were setting up Rollar this whole time for nothing well i don't know can my opponent fully energize this Entei V? they're setting up another dreepy i could use boss's orders but no way for me to knock it out and there's the rare candy with arvin if they can evolve retreat Entei V, uh we're just gonna lose this game because they can take multiple prizes. They can take multiple prizes. But you know what? Since we got Rabska, we can actually evolve and then prevent them from spreading damage counters. So we can still, uh, we have the potential to win this game still. So let's evolve into Rabska. That protects our bench at least. They need to retreat this NTV before they can attack and evolve into Dragapult EX. So we're, we're still in this game, guys. I'm going to use Vengeful Punch. Switch Cleffa. Put that there. And just going to energize this guy. Artisan for another cutie fly. I don't know. I don't know what, guys. I'm just going to put it out there. Draw with Cleffa. And we have Technical Machine Crisis Punch as well. There's the Dragapult EX, uh, 320 for, yeah, I mean, it really depends. If my opponent has boss orders, they could boss one of my bench Pokemon, but we have another King Gambit that we can evolve. There's the boss orders. They're going to target King Gambit. Thankfully, we have Rabscott. Bro, I think we got it. This is insane. Rabska protects the bench. King Gambit gets knocked out. My opponent's down to their last prize. And since we're behind, since so we have two prizes left. You know what, guys? We can still <laughs> we can still make Ribambi a hero here. We're going to boss orders their NTV and use Crisis Punch to deal 280 damage, enough to knock it out to get our last two prizes. This is insane. <laughs> that was a super clutch finish guys and that's it for the video thank you all so much for watching the popsicle night channel and until next time please stay safe and have a great day